Good morning. This is your great and good friend Jeff, husband to Brittany Born Leach. This is her channel, but today I'm taking it over. I'm going to answer your questions, give you the unfiltered, undoctored, the real stuff about my wife, my life, and our family. Let's get it. So, we're making an unscheduled uh, stop today this morning normally I'm on my McDonald's run to pick up my egg McMuffin and my Diet Coke but today we're at the gas station see my lovely beautiful amazing wife thinks that her highly advanced and technologically laden car is simply making a suggestion when it says you need gas you know the car's like hey you need gas and she's like nope and then it's like, hey, no, you really need gas. And she's like, I can't, I can't hear you. I can't see you. And then the car's like, yo, you really need to pull over right there, right there past the Valero. Okay, right, no, right here at the Shell station. And she's just like, you're lying. So this morning, I've got to take this bad boy over to the gas station to get gas so I can go back to her vehicle put enough in it so that we can make it into the gas station and fill her back up so first question what did you love the most about Brit when you first met her um, I, I loved how easy um, the conversation was when we had our first date um, downtown San Antonio we we're at a French restaurants and the food wasn't great, but we had really fun conversation. I didn't want it to end after the dinner was over. We walked around the city of San Antonio for another 45 minutes or so. So, you know, it was a three to four hour date and I couldn't get enough. I was smitten. I felt like she was uh, one of the easiest per people to, to talk to. We had so much in common. So um, I think that's really what intrigued me about uh, her was that we just immediately hit it off. Second question, how do you stay sane with so many young kids? And that's, that's a good question. I, I take my morning McDonald's run um, you know, during that 30 minute commute back and forth, allows me to take a deep breath, uh, allows me to uh, kind of set the day in my head of what I need to do and what I need to accomplish. Um, I think we both give each other breaks from the kids. Um, you know, today I'm, my wife is gonna go to Target solo for a while just to kind of get out the house and I'll man the kids for her um so i think that you know we we all love our kids but we also need to remember that we are individual human beings and that we do all need a little bit of time to ourselves and uh, as well as a little bit of time being a couple husband and wife uh, rather than focusing all your energy and all of your attention 24 hours a day on your kids who you know who I love all right back of the house next question do you ever call her Brit I I have taken some flack people get annoyed because I refer to her as my wife but the problem is is I never really call her Brit in my wife's past relationships they probably called her Brit and I didn't want to have the same pet name for her as any other man in her life so I call her wife or I call her honey. She's in my phone as wifer. So uh, the only person in the house that calls her Brit is Sydney. Next question, does Sydney's mom get along with Brittany? Um, I think they have a respectful relationship. Uh, they're the ones who communicate the most often about Sydney and the kids scheduling, stuff like that. So. Um, you know, they've, they've met maybe a handful of times in person. Most of the stuff is through text and I think that they um, are cordial with each other. 
How do you feel about being an older dad? I think right now I'm okay with being an older dad. I am scared for what the next 20 years looks like. You know, my youngest will be graduating high school when I'm, you know, around 60. I keep my beard dark, thank you, just for men, so that I don't look like her father. Does Brittany take long to get ready? Does she even realize how gorgeous she is? Well, first, Jennifer, thank you. Um, my wife is gorgeous. Um, does she take a long time to get ready? Uh, sometimes. She's got like three modes for getting ready. She's got like express mode, and that's like 15 minutes, you know, she like puts her hair up and, you know, put some, some rouge on and out the door. We're good. And then she's got like deluxe mode, and you know, that's best push-up bra, you know, fixing lips and hair is being done. And then there's like maximum overdrive mode. And that's when everything head to toe has got to be done. We are tanning the skins. We are, we are taking out best dress. We're going to try several on with different shoe options, getting the face done and the hair extended and done. So is it worth it? Yes, but sometimes it can be a little bit of time for her to shape it all together. What is your dream job? Do you like your job? Um, first, I really do enjoy my job. Um, I get to work with baseball uh, players and you know I work for a good company uh, in Axe Bat and so I get the opportunity to work with big leaders and professionals and college coaches on a regular basis so that's really fun. Uh, dream job, I'd love to say uh, be a big league hitting coach but it would be difficult for me to be a pro coach um, simply because of the travel and being away from the family. Um, I've had opportunities to interview for coaching jobs in minor league baseball and have declined uh, because I thought that if I was gone half the year, it would destroy my marriage and I'm not willing to risk my family for my uh, passion and my pursuit of sports. All right, driving, uh, driving wife's car now. She was very thirsty, um, but at least we made it and I don't have to hitchhike home. How long after your divorce did you feel ready to date? Sorry if it's too personal. Um, not too personal, we're an open book here. Um, I started dating probably, I wanna say like six months after my divorce has started to date and it was more just getting getting yourself out there um, I felt rejected uh, from my past relationship and so I think of a little bit of getting back out there is just to feel like somebody wants you somebody is attracted to you you're still worthy of love and um, so I didn't wait too long um, I waited probably a year before I um, you know, felt like I was dating somebody seriously. You know, as far as, as dating goes, um, I got out there, I think, fairly quickly. And I think um, so did my wife. Thank you. Sir, you like me? No, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. What is it like to be the dad of so many boys? Um, it's scary. Like, boys like to challenge their fathers for some reason. And like, I'm already with a six-year-old, a three-year-old and a one-year-old having to defend my honor and be the alpha male of the house. And as they continue to grow and become teenagers, it only gets worse. So I am nervous about having to fight my kids for alpha status for the next, you know, 100 years. Jeff, do you feel tied down with so many young children? Yep. What is one thing Brittany does that drives you nuts? 
she doesn't take her car to fill up the gas when the warning light comes on but i still love her all right and now we're driving um to pick up some lunch i worked from home for a little bit so i'm gonna try to answer some more questions brit's boobs or butts that's like asking me to choose my favorite kid i love them both equally if you could change one thing about your wife what would it be i would change the way that she makes a peanut butter and jelly sandwich I was watching her make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and she had a piece of bread with nothing on it and a piece of bread with peanut butter and she was taking the jelly and applying the jelly to the peanut butter who does that I was shocked appalled had I known this before I got married to her, I we may not be here today. I don't know that I've ever been more aghast at watching somebody do something to a sandwich. I never thought I'd be offended like that, but I just, I needed a moment. You got You got a piece of bread with nothing on it. And you put the jelly to the peanut butter. It's all the same when you put it together. No, it's not. So anyway, that's the one thing that I definitely would change about my wife. And I hope she watches this video and I hope she changes her ways. Do you have any tattoos? No, I am as God made me. Are there any chores you enjoy doing? Um, I'm in charge of trash, grass and getting ass what's your favorite baseball team um i grew up a atlanta braves fan uh tbs was always on at my house i watched it with my father that's how he and i bonded when i was uh in high school so i still follow the braves um now with the job i'm in where i interact with all teams uh professional teams now I don't have a favorite I am a fan of all teams and players do you think Britney spends too much money um, my wife makes her own money uh, through YouTube and Instagram she does really well and without her contributions I think our family would struggle um, I I love my job but I think that uh, we would be living paycheck to paycheck um, with my income. So first, I'm very thankful that my wife does well. Thank to all of you who helped make that possible. And um, also, I mean, she's fairly frugal. Um, she doesn't make a lot of expensive purchases. Most of the um, expensive things that she or I own has been purchased by me. Um, I'm the one that pushed her into the car that she drives, the car that I'm driving, her computer, camera, uh, cell phone, um, everything basically that she, um, everything that she has that is an expense is probably been influenced by me. You know she does a great job of managing her money we live between our meat or or we live within our means so no i'm actually very thankful that she takes me into consideration when she makes uh any purchase and i try to do the same for her do you guys ever fight um we have probably in the five and a half ish six years that we've been together We've probably had two fights. I can I can remember a couple of times, but we, we don't really fight often. And I think that's because we both uh, look at ourselves um, as part of the problem. Um, we don't blame each other when stuff goes wrong. I think the reason why people fight is because they try to defend their position rather than try to understand the other person and so i i think that we do a good job of listening and not 
holding too tightly to our side of the argument and we tend to make up fairly quickly. Do you and B know each other's love languages? I do in fact. My wife's love language is quality time and words of affirmation. And my number one love language is, is physical touch and also words of affirmation. So, you know, I hug my wife all the time and it's more to get that feeling of love. Um, I don't think that she has ever been truly comfortable with a lot of physical touch. Um, and I'm only physically, like, I, I'm only touchy-feely really with my wife and my kids. I'm not, I would not say I'm a touchy-feely person with anybody else, but I, I need that from her and I need that from them. Especially the, the young, young kids in the house. Like, I need that. Do I find Brittany as attractive when she's pregnant versus not pregnant? My wife is gorgeous. She looks great pregnant. She glows. I love that she loves being a mom and I love that she loves being pregnant. And I am... She looks great in her tight-fitting outfits. I think that her belly looks great in her tight little dresses and onesie outfits. I don't know what you call them, but I think she looks great. And I am more than just attracted to her or just as much attracted to her pregnant as not pregnant. I don't remember when she's not pregnant. She's kind of always pregnant. And I always find her to be absolutely stunningly gorgeous. We're gonna mukbang the rest of this. What does Jeff enjoy most about having a YouTube wife? Um, I am excited that our life as a family is being documented so that we can look back and see how we've grown, how we've changed, we have this memory of our kids, the documentation of, you know, them kind of getting older. I, I've seen videos with Coop when he was, you know, one year old that I, you know, kind of, I forgot how he was when he was, when he was that young. You know, I think it's amazing that we've got this record now of our lives and hopefully we'll be able to look back on, on our YouTube uh, family with a lot of reverence and we'll look back at the love that we all shared together and it'll be it'll be awesome what made you want to have five kids my wife made me want to have five kids getting out of my previous marriage I thought I I, I could have been done with with Chris and with Sydney I felt like I got to experience what it meant to be a father I didn't know you know, who I was going to find or love. I was open to having more children. I always saw myself as having more kids. My best friend in high school had a big family. He was the oldest of, of, of five, I think. So I, I always loved his family and thought that that might be something I wanted someday. You always say that until you got to take care of five kids and the responsibility and all that goes along with having a big family. But um, I am very grateful. I feel very blessed. There's people that can't have kids. Um, and so I, I want to make sure that I am appreciative of having all of my kids and being able to see them grow up. If Brittany says she wants to try for one more, what is your answer? Let's do it. I want, as long as she feels like she wants to continue to be a mom, she should have that opportunity. Um, whether we have five kids, 10 kids, I know that we'll always be up for the challenge and that we'll love our kids and we'll do right by each other while we raise them. So I will stop when my wife is ready to stop. How did you get into the career you're in now? Um, I, have been a baseball coach and uh, for the last 10 years, private instructor. And I started to 
Um, I wanted to control the narrative about what I did as a coach, what I believed. I started posting a lot of uh, swing tips and just my general view um, and philosophy and started to get a lot of attention and some followers, mostly on Twitter. Um, started to develop somewhat of a following and I was recruited by Axbat to come in and be the manager of hitting. I really enjoy what I do and I'm challenged by it every day and I love baseball so it's a really good fit for me. Did either family have any weirdness about your age gap before you started dating? Um, I was a little apprehensive on her side. I didn't know how her parents, grandparents would view someone who was 10 years older. On my side, I introduced my, I introduced her to my parents three weeks after we started dating. I was all in, I rushed it, I did everything that the book tells you not to do. So within three weeks of meeting somebody who was 23 years old, I introduced her to my parents and my kids and was like ready to get serious. I almost chased her off, but here we are today. What's your favorite comfort food? Uh, I'm a pizza guy. Some of you guys may disagree, but pineapple and ham, Hawaiian pizza, that's my jam. What's something you're extra about since you're always saying Brittany is extra? She is extra. I buy new pairs of socks about every six, six months. I buy like 10, 12, probably 12 pairs of new socks every six months. I don't know how often you guys buy socks. Um, my wife buys new underwear every other week. So I, I am not an extra man, but if you consider that extra, then I'm extra. Dream city to live in. In my previous, in a previous job, I was able to go to Pittsburgh and that may sound like a very strange dream city, but Pittsburgh, uh, we, you know, admittedly I stayed downtown Pittsburgh, but Pittsburgh is beautiful. And I was able to take Brittany up during Christmas time, uh, early in December. And we both really love the city. It's very clean. Um, it's very beautiful. So if we were to make enough money to have a second home, I think we would have a summer home. It's Pittsburgh. Do you change poopy diapers? Yes, I do change diapers. Uh, not often, as often as my wife. It's like a five to one wife to husband ratio on the diaper duties, but I do take care of diapers. I give baths. I'm a, I'm a full service husband. If I could take Brittany on vacation sans kiddos, where would you go? Um, um, probably, I would probably take her to, I'd probably take her to Europe. Um, we're both fans of looking at the beach, but we're not really fans of going in the water at the beach. We're more pool people. So I, I do love going to the beach occasionally, but we would probably, I would probably venture that she would like to see Europe. How does it feel to be married to a badass, hardworking, loving wife? First, thank you for the compliment. And I feel very blessed to be married to my wife. She is harder working than people know. She's great with our kids. She keeps our house looking awesome. And she works really hard on YouTube. Um, I don't think people really understand all that goes into filming the videos and editing the videos and posting them, all the organization that goes into it, uh, communicating with sponsors and getting um, all the stuff done. Most YouTube, uh, successful YouTube people that I know have managers to handle all that. She does it all on her own. Um, so, you know, I, I think that I'm, I think I'm very blessed uh, to see all the stuff that she does and she still makes time for her husband. Were you excited to have another boy? The worst thing 
about having so many boys in a row, four boys, is that nobody is excited about the boys. Like another boy is just like more of the same for most people. I wanna be excited about the next boy. I want to be as excited about this one as I was about our first one together. And so that's the difficult thing is that everyone is rooting for a girl and nobody after you have three boys is rooting for another boy. So yes, I'm really excited about having another boy. Advice for husbands to be more thoughtful without having to ask them. First, I think you need to voice to your husband what your needs are. I know that you wanted to not say anything to your husband, but you have to voice to your husband what your needs are or they'll never be met. We are dumb. We are terrible at reading the subtle signs. You need to just say what you need so that we can do something about it. Now, if husband doesn't take your words as gospel and does not put importance on fulfilling your needs, then you need an intervention. They need to go to a better dad's camp or some other form of counseling so that they start to recognize the importance of taking care of their wife. What is your pet peeve? My pet peeve is that my kids constantly lose my remote. I get like two, three hours of TV viewing time at the end of the night. I just wanna watch whatever show is on or whatever, I wanna watch whatever sports is on TV. I wanna watch a superhero movie and I can't find the damn remotes. I can't find the TV remote and I can't find the app remotes. And I have not found a good solution for it, but at least two to three days a week, we don't know where the remote is. So that's my biggest pet peeve. I wish somebody would put a remote finder app in my phone. I would pay any amount of money and I would use it almost daily. What career would you do if money stability wasn't an issue? I would still be coaching. I feel like I do what I do because I'm passionate about it. I really love working with players and coaching and it doesn't matter the sports. Um, I didn't play football, but I've coached football. Regardless, I'm very fortunate that I make money following and uh, my passion in doing what I love to do. Do you consider yourself a YouTube star or just married to one? I am not a YouTube star. I am that guest character that makes an appearance on the show and is entertaining for two minutes, but you could never base a show on that character. I do see my wife as a star and I think she does an amazing job of producing and starring in her own reality show based on her life and our family. And I'm extremely grateful that when I read the comments, and I do read the comments on occasion, that 99% of comments are encouraging, loving, and thank you guys for all the support that you give her and all the love that you give to our family. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now. I hope that you enjoyed it and that I will get the opportunity to do it more often for you. But again, thank you guys for your love and support of our family it means a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you.